Om Shanti. Hello. Greetings from Chicago. My name is Piyash Bhattacharji. And on behalf of Paisley Academy Arts and Fabrics, I would like to thank the Indian Embassy for giving us this opportunity to conduct the session today. So I hope everybody's doing good, right? So right now, you know, we are in a lockdown state still. And the summer vacation has also started, right? So this means there's nothing called routine in many homes, isn't it? So it's kind of a little hard for us to say what a typical routine means, right? So say, for example, you know, we are going to bed late. We are waking up very late, relatively very, very late in the morning, right? Because, you know, the kids have no school and nothing much, frankly speaking. So I was asked by a friend of mine just the other day, how do you wake up in the morning? And even in general, right? If you are asked this question, how you wake up in the morning, you know, the answer probably is a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, right? So the reason why I'm saying is that I would encourage you all, if you are, you know, if you are here, here it is like the evening time, almost evening in Chicago, and even in any part of the globe, tea and coffee are probably something that any do at any time, especially Indians, right? Tea is so favorite. Uh, so I would say that get your favorite cup of coffee or tea. So I have mine here, okay? And get some brushes and a paper and let's get started. Because today's painting is all about painting with tea and coffee. So um, I don't know if you were there in my previous session the last week, where I had you know, mentioned that I'm very fond of painting with natural colors. It has a special, um, and I have a special, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, really, uh, I'm really very curious and uh, I really enjoy doing it because it is very uh, healing, I feel, in general. So you know, if you try and uh, you will see that, you know, it is really very healing. Last week, if you were there or not, I don't know, but um, we had painted with other um, other uh, natural, uh, natural, you know, we had other natural ingredients, like we had um, turmeric, we had madder, we had wood, and in addition, we also had some spinach and um, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so today, but we are just using tea and coffee. So, you know, in India, we all know that we have grown up like uh, with the black tea, right? The black tea is that we all know right? Whether you drink or you don't drink, but you know black tea, right? And green tea also. I mean, green tea is very popular. Well, there are other parts of the world, or in general here, we see that there are other types of teas. Like I have lived in Germany for many years as a student, and I have seen that there are uh, so many different kinds of tea that I wasn't aware until that point. So there are these teas like that made out of fruits and many others that I still don't know. Well, in my kitchen, I just had uh, these two versions, the black tea and the green tea, and I just have coffee. I don't have that other kinds of tea, which are very interesting, but I don't have. And uh, so I'm just pretty happy with what I have in the kitchen. I just got my tea, uh, well, uh, and my coffee, and I'm ready to paint along with you. So let's get started. So I will show you what I have done. I will tell you exactly what I have used so that you can have a little bit of an idea, okay? So that uh, even in future, even if you're not live right now with me, or if you don't have the supplies, the right supplies, you can come back to this video and you can, you know, uh, you can do what you want. So with art, I'm very flexible. I try to experiment. It's not, I'm not very rigid. So if one of my students say that, can I do this? Can I do that? I say, you know, you have to try it out. There are things that, you know, that can always, uh, bring us sudden joy and, this, and we, we realize suddenly, oh my God, I had never tried that before, but this looks very beautiful. And you get so much appreciation people, but important is that if you feel good after you have done something, right? If that brings you joy, I think that is very important and that counts the most. So for me, I had no idea of painting on a canvas. So right, right now I'll show you what I have done. And uh, um, I have never ever painted uh, uh, on a brick canvas using natural colors, uh, but I will show and we will shortly begin. So 
I hope you can see. Um, so this was something that I painted using all these natural colors. Now, if you ask me, have you done this completely with tea and coffee? No, not just with tea and coffee. I had that leftover matter um, and I had leftover beets. So I could not resist. So I had that in my uh, cup, you know, um, uh, matter and leftover beet. I had uh, some uh, turmeric. So I used that little bit here and there. However, the main, the main, uh, uh, you know, uh, okay, uh, I would say this. So the main, you know, the main paint, uh, paints that I have used, the main dyes uh, was actually tea and coffee. So, and I will, I will explain. Um, but for now, we are trying to stick to tea and coffee, okay? So I have my um, tea ready, and I showed you my coffee mug. So you can get your tea, get your coffee, and we can get started. So I think this is uh, pretty clear. Um, so you see here we have a house there, and it is more like a, uh, uh, it's more like a, um, and it's more like, uh, you know, some trees here, you know, maybe in the backyard, in the front yard, and some kids are just playing or hanging out, just like very family oriented uh, picture. And there's a hammock there, and maybe the adults are just taking a walk, uh, of that kind of a nature, okay? Nature has always inspired me. Uh, so um, probably that's the reason why I try to experiment so much with natural colors. And um, so we also have, uh, a cup of water because that will be important. And I'll show you my. Uh, I'll show you how my coffee looks like. So this is not really enjoy and drink because this is really really pretty thick. Okay, it's pretty thick. So it's pretty thick. So you have to uh, have a little thicker consistency to have the dark brown color. Um, but you can always dilute it, and uh, you can always you know, tone it down or as you wish. So, and then I have here my green tea. It doesn't look very greenish, but it will give a little bit of a pale yellow effect, which I was pretty happy. So it is pretty, pretty light. I'm going to start first with the, the drawing is, you know, I just simply done a sketch. Um, I was not very really focused on uh, being very precise because anyways, uh, we will be uh, painting. So it's, uh, the drawing does not matter. I was doing, doing a little bit of a difference, and that this is by the way um, your um, what's that? It's called the the watercolor watercolor paper. That's lots of work. So I, I'm going to have my um, gloves because I don't want to stain my hands. So I'm going to have my gloves, and I'll get started. Okay. And I have my flat, flat brush. I'm going to simply, I don't know if you can see it because it's too light. I can see it, it's pretty yellowish, but I don't know if you will be able to see much. The watercolor is it's easier when I'm having it you know, on my table, but right now, it will be easier if I have it this way because for, for the purpose of um, doing it live here, I feel it's comfortable this way, you know. So that's a very light uh, paint set of yellow. So uh, just in case you cannot see, maybe uh, for the sake of the class or the sake of the session, I probably have to add a bit of turmeric. And that's the reason why I do have a bit of turmeric with me. But if you are doing it at home, uh, you really can um, just stick to your tea and coffee. And there are so many other kinds of tea you can experiment as well. I have a bit of turmeric. Well, I can see it, so I added a bit of it. So that it kind of, you know, gives that little uh, yellowish. It's, uh, it's a little bit more yellow. 
So you don't have to use turmeric, but I probably will do it uh, because I don't know because of lighting and because it's all, uh, all how much the camera can take and because of all that reason. But if you are doing it, you can really uh, stick to only your tea. If you try it and you can, you can see, it's all about trying, you know, that you have to try it, right? Try it and see. And watercolor is, you know, it is very, uh, it takes a lot of pretty good amount of time to dry. So I have to be a little quick and just to have a bit of time. So I'm going to stick again to the tea. This is again my green tea. This is my green tea. It's more like a summer day, right? Like here we are, the weather is beautiful outside. So you can just sit at the deck or, you know, you can, you can sit anywhere. You can see at the balcony or wherever. And whatever you see, you can try that out. Enjoy your coffee or tea and then pour it a little bit um, and have it for your uh, for your paints too, right? For your painting. And you will really enjoy that evening or the morning. So it's very, very light. You can barely see because I can see that it is not clear. But when I look at it, you know, from here, I can see it's pretty yellow. It's pretty yellow. Okay. Now I can add a bit of uh, my. Add a bit of my black tea. My black tea seems a little reddish. This is actually black tea. You know, this is black tea. It seems a bit, it has turned out pretty reddish. If I use, but it looks, you know, it looks reddish, but it is black tea. So I have very diluted form. And watercolor is very, uh, very relaxing to work with. I don't know how much of it I can finish. You can see that it has its own challenge of drying. But at least I can give you some ideas, right? It's all about that. So just wash. And my plan is also, you know, not to stick to paper. I would do a lot uh, on fabrics. So last week I did not mention that. I just said that, you know, uh, I have other plans. And I have done quite a bit on uh, uh, fabrics. I, it was real fun to work with other natural colors on fabrics. And I will show you. Over, a, over time, what our plan and goals are and what we have created. Okay, so now we have a little touch of um, black tea. Okay, now I can start and do, while it is wet, I can start and do the tree. I like that, uh, you know, when the color kind of bleeds. So I like that effect. That's the beauty of a watercolor. And I'm sure that you will also like it. But I don't have much time to let it dry in between. So it's kind of a little dry, but it doesn't have to be perfect dry. We don't even want it to be all dry, right? I had to open my glass because I'm not that comfortable doing it this way. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm trying to work on the tree. I would have to come back to it and color it on top of it again. So once you're holding it flat on your table, uh, it will be much easier. But see how it's pretty rich, right? It's pretty rich brown. You can make it even even more brown. I mean, it is possible to have more coffee. If you have more coffee powder, you can make it look even dark. So really, really dark. So I have done it. So it is, it's very dark. It can be very dark, close to black. 
you know, the dark, and I like it when it drips this way. Sometimes even when I'm working on the table, I kind of hold it um, vertically. I like to, uh, you know, I like it this way. But you know, it's a personal thing. So if you like it, you will do it. If not, then you won't. So this is my first course and I haven't even done anything much. So just, uh, just a touch of it. I'm just going to color. And if needed, I might add a bit of my uh, beet or other colors too. I have a very uh, skinny brush. I have a round um, brush here. It's pretty skinny. So I can start and do the other tree from holding from the bottom, going all the way up. It takes time, so, you know. So this is all about idea sharing. And a little bit of shadow here. Can start and try to do the the house. So I can add beet juice if I want to. I will just in case I'm adding because I don't have that and the particular thing. And for the sake of the class, because you know you have to speak clearly, just in case that's the case, I have beet juice ready here, you know, so I'm not too worried. But I have to let it dry in between. I like that effect. I like that. I don't know if you like it, but I do. Okay. So I can take a bit of my green tea again. Or my black tea and have a bit of reddish touch to it. Treat it as a watercolor. Usually, you know, the canvases that are meant for watercolor is ideal, but um, I didn't have it currently, so I didn't even uh, push myself too hard to go to the store. Because um, right now we are not going out, you know, we are sticking, you know, you know that what I mean, right? This thing. So therefore I didn't go to the store and I don't have in stock the water, the, the canvas meant for watercolor. But I'm pretty happy with uh, the colors that I have. Now I can Keep on moving to the rest part of the house. Coloring the roof of the house with coffee. Later. Now, this, you know, if I come back to it later on, once I'm done with the basic one, I can come back and do, and I'll see how that looks. In this one, I had used uh, beet. I wanted to have both the variations and compare. And here in this, you know, in this one, you can see that the house have been, you know, I'm trying to make the house a little bit bigger. Uh, in that case, I had it other stuff. So it's nice to check the variations. You can compare with how both of them look. So I will be um, adding a bit of beet juice, uh, maybe, uh, but not right now. I'll see. I cannot predict what I want. See? 
getting the roof done. I am doing it, I'm really, really uh, relaxing. I wish I had that, uh, the tea that gives that uh, red dye or the red color. Unfortunately, I didn't. That's why I have this beet juice just in case. I feel like I probably will add that, but not right now. I'm using this, the black tea, which kind of looks a little bit reddish. So I'm still working with black tea and green tea and Coffee. I like when it goes this way, you know, one, one, one paint goes to the other. That's the beauty of watercolor. It's not really watercolor that way, but yeah, you know what I mean, right? So I will now get my red tea again. Oh, sorry, black tea again. Okay. Trying to do the main part of the house now. Okay. So basically you see, you can, there are three. So we have derived this uh, paints from three main, you know, the, you know the, as I mentioned, red tea, black tea, and coffee, that's all. And I add a little bit of turmeric on the, on the top, right? You know that, I already mentioned. Okay. So. But there are so many other versions of teas. There are a lot of, you know, you can't experiment with many others. I usually do a lot with beet and things like that. Um, and uh, indigo is another one that I often use for painting um, or wood. The chebula black that I had mentioned last time for the black. Uh, but tea and coffee, um, you know. I can, you know, cover this. Yeah, I can see very clearly, but I know you cannot see it that well. But but we'll, we'll see if that needed, I will add other, other um, as needed, I'll add beet or Board later on. But you see, what I wanted to show is that the main thing what we're using is actually tea and coffee, right? Nothing else. So I can take my coffee. And if it's dry, you have to let it dry sometimes. So I have my brush here and I can. Now try to give it a bit of shape. So if you have enough time, then you can do all these small things, which kind of looks very interesting and very enjoyable. But then if you apply another coat of coffee, you can see it's getting darker. Or if you can cook it a bit more to a thicker consistency, to a thicker consistency okay? then it can get even darker. Sometimes it looks really thick, almost like tar. I like to kind of shape, you know, move my brush this way. 
so you can see. You can come back to this. It's pretty wet. It's getting darker, right? But I have a limited amount of time, so I have to uh, make sure that I do as much as possible I can show. Okay. Now I can take my mm -hmm. okay. I can take my round brush and dip it again in coffee. and see. If needed, as I mentioned, I will add something else. So I have my round brush with me. This paper size is uh, this um, watercolor paper size nine by 12. And this one is 11 by 14 canvas. You can see this. You know, I can then create a little bit of leaves. Like tapping, tapping. You know, so, so much of time that we have these days, many of us, for many, a little bit of work. <laughs> so maybe work that you have to do for work, you know, your office or whatever you do, or it could be in, in addition, the kids are home. That's another challenge. But however, you can take some of your own time. Well, with my students, I have never done any tea or coffee painting because they are young students, you know, but uh, anybody can do it. And first of all, you see these are all natural colors. There is really, uh, you're not, sure, you know, I'm not too worried about, um, you know, from other, I don't have big concerns, but you should, you know, in general, you should be cautious. You should take precautions in general, but I am not because these are all natural colors. So I'm pretty, uh, and I can always, you know, the leftover, whatever I have, I can, I don't have much problem or I'm not scared of how to discard. When it is chemical, then you should be very cautious of how you are, you know, discarding your leftover uh, paints, right? And it's also very good for the environment that, that we all know, even last time also I did mention, and these days we are very, very, I mean, slowly we are understanding, you know, very often we have not been that friendly with nature. And uh, these days uh, we are trying, many of us are trying in our impossible small ways, what we can do. Like we have that awareness now, right? Even the younger kids, they know that. So, so I I believe this this is one way we can approach. So you can see a little bit of that. I can quickly come to this, and later once it, uh, once it is a little dry, I can try to do another coat, and we'll see if needed. I add something else. So let's see. Now I have this, um, I have this hammock, which is very relaxing, especially in, uh, summertime, right? You cannot think of a hammock here in winter. <laughs> right? So, Part of it, and then comes the inner part. Good. 
So it should be attached to two trees. So we will be doing the other tree too soon. Be taking in between sometimes my that paint for my which I got from my um I'm taking that excess color. Yeah. Okay. And it's pretty wet all over. And I can come and do this now again with coffee. Just doing a basic wash now, you know, the first still pretty at the initial level, I feel. Initial level in the sense that there will be a lot of um, detailed work to do later on. I'm going to do the second tree, and if you want to do some branches, go ahead with your branches. Looks beautiful. We add more branches. I don't have too much space, so I'm not going to do crowd around here. So. So you can see we do have color and this were all the trees. This is the part of the house still. The patio, the railings here. And I don't have a very good support and I always mention that I'm not sitting right in front so I don't have a very good support, uh, you know, because I'm sitting at the side and I'm trying to uh, paint. But I hope you do understand that. I always say that. But this is the best way to show. Otherwise, the the camera will have to be, you know, we have to do a lot of other things. So see. I mean, if I, I can see it even more, you know, it's pretty clear here. It's pretty uh, brown and uh, it's, it has a reddish tone. So this is all that I could do for the first um, application of um, coffee tea. Beautiful portraits can be done too. Okay. So I would now do a bit of a bit of I believe I, I need something. So I will do a bit of wood. I'll touch it, but you can see that. The major part, you know, the most of it we have used uh, was all um, coffee and tea. So therefore, for now, no chemical is used, by the way. I'm going to use a bit of beet and a bit of wood. Okay. And so you've seen a little bit. So if I had a thicker consistency of um, Coffee, then you can see it better. I'm gonna make it a little bit bluish. So. So some parts of it. Can branch it out a bit more. And I can also do the same. 
Yeah. So this is the same thing. And I've used here, I've picked here a bit of um, board, which gives that bluish color. And I have here B2. I love it, you know, I mean, that red is very, very beautiful red. I'm very attached to that red. The beet, the typical beet, uh, uh, the juice. I don't want to be too precise. Okay. Oh. can smooth them out. But when you're having it in front of you, you can do far better. It's much easier than having it held this way. Okay. Okay. Now I would go and add some touches on the house. without losing that coffee effect, because I love that coffee effect. Some touches of it, okay? Just few little, little touches. And I also wanted to show, because of the contrast, see how it looks. There's so many ways of Trying out. They have to try and see. Mm -hmm. And here's another roof here. Again, I have beet with a mix of wood. kind of trying to make it a bit intense. Right. And we can continue with it. Mm -hmm. Again, the roof here with that, a mix of wood and beet gives a little purplish effect. And if you have a very strong coffee, <clears throat> then you can also use that straight. Take a dry brush. I'm gonna take that extra away, we can do it. how much you want and you can try it and see. I will try it out, right? And then we can also do the window here. The other window here. And a couple of other windows here. It's not super easy to draw this way, to paint this way. But as I repeatedly mentioned, just have it closer to you and sit in the right way. And 
they can do it. So. And here are a couple of these windows. You know? It's actually a picture of my house. <laughs> The windows are, but maybe I'm changing a bit. Mm -hmm. And because I was sitting and I was, um, uh, was being a little. I like to sit, you know, outdoors and uh, paint directly. I can, I like that. It's very relaxing. Every summer we take our students and we we go outdoors and we and we paint. Um, those who are my online students, I just tell them to do it on their own. But those who are those who come to my classes, I always, you know, we, we go out wherever it is, like you know, maybe in the back at the backyard or done it in the park. So it, is a, it gives them a lot of inspiration and uh, encourage uh, and encouraging them to draw live. You know, like uh, mainly, I mean that they can draw the way they see it. It's it's a very important, it's a very good practice. But this this uh, the summer we are not meeting. We have all our classes online. Online classes not us. And I will add one window here, which I did not add my previous one. And I will do a bit of all that water. Yeah, I like this effect of how it, you know, the coffee effect and the and the reddish effect, other from beet and all that. So I can take it out a little bit. So that's the thing when you. When you have it held vertically, the paint will not stick immediately. But I can take my paper towel or I can just take some brush, a dry brush, and then, because this is a bit too much, I'll just take it and remove it, you know. I'll remove it and then I can have some water. Mm -hmm. Then kind of try to dilute it here. Okay. Then you can have, I like that white touches, you know, so I don't try to thoroughly paint everywhere because when the sun hits, you have those. Now, I can try to do the branches, uh, the, the, the trees and the bushes a little bit. I can work a little bit and try to create a little bush here. You get a little bit of an idea and you can do it also on your own. You can do some shadow. And take some lighter blue or you know, I'll take my black tea, which is kind of looks reddish, and try to have 
more and then I can take a little bit of my green tea and mix the red and the black tea and try to create some interesting effect. Okay. Mm -hmm. We did the house to an extent. You can also have some here. I have a little bit of my green tea and my black, and then create a bush here a little bit. And once it is dry, you can apply a little bit more and it will look a little more prominent. Let's see how much time we have. Yeah, so that is it is water and then kind of watery effect. Can look very interesting. If you like that, you know, it's all about your personal taste. I like it. I like that effect. So I probably should have done a bit more of that here. But but have it closer to you so you can see it better. And I can do my red tea again spots I missed. I'm going to now do it with my red tea. and uh, Not red tea, so I'm so sorry, my black tea. Black tea, which kind of looks red. Okay. I did it to an extent. It's good to sit outdoors and really enjoy the nature because the weather is so beautiful, right? And these days, uh, even the kids can sit. You can sit with your kids and do it. So, so we did to an extent, but I can always change a bit and refine it a little bit more. And work on the trees a bit more with my black tea again and a bit of wood. And take a bit of beet, you know, because I cannot resist that red. But if you have more time, you can work a bit longer. So this is a, it's a very quick one. And then I'm just turning back all the time and getting my, uh, my, it, it, it's, it's a bit, it has a bit of, but I'm not complaining. I am enjoying it. Sit the way uh, you should feel comfortable. And I'll just take that paint a little bit out. Okay. Now, you want to do the figures. I can do one of the kids playing. Mm -hmm. And two hands. You can do one person probably. 
see if we can do one. No. So it's harder because it's too pretty wet. Let's see if I can. I'll do it. Okay, it is dry. Maybe here. It's a little wet here. It's dry here. Okay. Take my beat. Work on the figure. Once it's dry, then I can do a bit more. It will dry, I think, in a minute. And in one more. And uh, if you want to do a little more detailed work, it has to be properly dry. It really has to be dry. Otherwise, right? And especially these are pretty, 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 uh, very fluid, you know, very watery. But wonderful, and wonderful to work with. It's all about if you are enjoying it. trees here. Little bush. So that's all. You know, you keep on doing it and building it and see how you like it. I have something. Little touch here and there. I showed you uh, that, you know, how it looks like when you're just doing tea and coffee. But if you're cooking the coffee a bit more, I mean, to thick consistency, then you'll have even darker brown. This brown is actually uh, created from using really, really thick coffee. It was very thick. It was very thick um, that it was uh, very hard to even get it on my brush. So it's, like, it's like somewhat like tar. So uh, it's pretty thick, you know. So, uh, but that was also a little bit hard because to use and apply with the brushes. But now, uh, therefore, I wanted to, this time when I created it for this session, I wanted to be a little bit lighter so I can do it at ease. But the thing is now, it is uh, it's a bit too diluted. So you have to keep on trying. Okay. Sometimes you can even use a hair dryer if you're in a rush. I don't have a hair dryer here. Um, I didn't arrange it right now for this session, but you can use a hair dryer and dry it in between. So you have the figure. Mm -hmm. We are approaching time. It looks like a little boy now, right? <laughs> so I just did two minutes for now. Okay, but uh, here I took 
you know, you're at it slowly. And then if you want to do some green grass or just grass in general, you can do I'm just doing with my flat brush. And you can keep on building it. So I can keep on building it. Try to have three, two, three cups of coffee of different consistency. One is a little thicker than the other. But that you cannot drink for sure because it's pretty thick and you have to uh, have your separate painting cup for your coffee, coffee that you're using to paint. Have another cup as you so you can have your you can drink from a cup and then you can have a little bit um, in another cup for painting. So, so as you're drinking your coffee, enjoying, you can do a small uh, painting and just paint a tree or do whatever you you like to. So keep on doing some shadow. And here and there things, yeah. And I can do a little bit of shadow for this particular tree, depending also on the sun, where the sun is. <clears throat> I'm using again my coffee. And it's all about the small coffee. And I'll get some water. And I leave some white, just like that. Perfect. Yeah, and if you because it's still all very, very, very wet. You cannot see it because I can see it because I'm sitting very close. It's all very wet. So once it is, once it is dry, then I can come and do the windows and do a bit more detailed work or whatever I like to, you know? That's on you, really, if you want to do those kind of things. But it was just kind of to give an idea of what you can do. So here I had more figures. I had here only a couple of figures and then it's still wet. See, it's still wet. It's pretty wet. So I can otherwise come and do a bit more of black. Not black, but dark. So that's what I mean. So here I can have a little bit of coffee. And it had a bit of, so it was, so you could see, right? You, you understood what I meant. It had more branches here, branching it out. Yeah. So I had to be, you know, yeah. That was a very quick one. I mean, yeah. So, so this was all on canvas. This is all on paper. Okay. This is the um, watercolor uh, paper. And that is a regular stretch canvas. So, yeah. That's it, I think. So, so you've got to get an idea how to paint with coffee tea. If you have a variety of teas in your, in your kitchen, or you know, if you have, you can you can prepare the coffee in such a way that you have a thicker consistency, 
or then you can even you know dilute it with water. What I had was something in between, but what I prepared for my uh, earlier was very, very thick. So you can prepare the way you feel it's comfortable and then you can also use it with a brush. Okay. So I ha I can I had shown a bit, you know, um that how it looks when it is painted just with coffee and tea, just the regular coffee and tea, uh, with that uh, the brown color and a bit of yellowish. But um if you have a variety of tea, please do use it. There are many other uh, uh we can experiment and you can see uh what if you're mixing and how it looks. This was one example today. Okay, so I hope I could, you know, I could send some message from here. And I believe, and I, that you will uh, paint, uh, even if it's a small one, you will try it out if you're, once you're drinking, you know, with a, in one cup in your hand, you know, and then take another cup, or if you have some residue, just use it for a small painting. Okay, so that was it for today. I hope uh, you can be creative, you can try out different things, and I will let you know over a period of time in the next uh, following weeks what we can do with natural colors. It is so much fun, and it is, it is, you can explore so much, and, um, and it, we don't have to stick to paper all the time or on canvas. There are many other things that we can do, and we are in the process of uh, doing other things, even if it's uh, a state that it is in the lockdown, okay? So that was it for today. I hope to see you again next week. Please take care, stay safe, enjoy the beautiful sunny days. And until next week, take care. Bye bye. And I also want to thank the Indian Embassy. Without them, we wouldn't have been able to reach out to you. So I thank the Indian Embassy for giving us this opportunity. Bye bye.